a person could argue that we're lame for not sucking cock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why do you? Why, no, no, why do you I'm, to, no, I'm saying no, because I, <laughs> I imagine all Andre is like this guy who pretends to be straight and he tries to convince his friends like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, we're we, all gay. <laughs> what if we just did this?" <laughs> no, no, I'm so saying you that. can argue that somebody would say that we're lame for not sucking cock. <laughs> Cock a doodle do. Why? Why do people say cock a doodle do? No, they say. Oh, well, they do say cock a doodle do. I thought it was C A and then because a cock is a rooster. Yeah, but what's up with a doodle doodle do? What? Cock a doodle do do or cock a doodle do? It's cock a doodle do. I know. Yeah, well, yeah. What you're right. What is a doodle do? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is I think they try to like you know how when animals make sounds like how do you spell what an elephant sounds like? But it it doesn't sound like. Doodle doodle. Cock a doodle do. I mean, nothing. It sounds like, more like a. Cock a doodle do. Like, you know. Oh, I mean? a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little Not bit. Really. No, no, yeah, a little bit. You've never heard a rooster in your life. Have you heard a rooster? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. If you want to support us, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon. Uh, you get cool uh, features such as uh, our Discord and uh, exclusive episodes or bonus clips. Um, and yeah, um, here we go, dude. Like, why would you? Why would you spell the sound that an elephant makes? I don't know what a sound uh, an elephant makes. I don't know what the fuck. Was what about that? a dog? Moo, bark, <laughs> like a dog. Bark. No, no, no. A dog is more like wolf. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, what's like, a wolf? Like rough, rough. Is Tyler rough? Yeah, like rough. Rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They don't bark. 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 bark is the the word that describes a rough, but. You don't spell bark when you like. That's not how you spell a rough. See yeah. What I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, welcome to another episode of the Pull Up Podcast. I'm here with uh, the right. weekend and uh, a psychopath that hates fat people. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I am loving and accepting of people of all shapes and forms. You know what's crazy for me to think. Uh, <laughs> Me and the weekend are the same exact height. Well, how tall? We'll, we'll measure y'all because I'm not sure, dude. Because people <laughs> lie, so you might be shorter. Five you know eight. I might be taller. You might be taller. Is it five eight? Yeah. It's so strange to think like all these people who are famous and superstars, like on screen, you're like, whoa, you know, motherfucker should wa- like walks into a room and you know overtakes it with their presence. Yeah, definitely don't meet your idols in real life yeah but, but if the they, weekend walked in the door right now and he sat next to me yeah we'll be the exact same size that is so crazy for me to think yeah especially when y'all are making out like dude your you lips would be like the <laughs> same like you know height you wouldn't have to go with anything dude, Bro. wouldn't that be hilarious if steezy and the weekend make out why like, would that be hilarious because like he's making out with himself what do you mean because y'all look the same it's like hey dude dude they do like, not look the same i don't look like Bro, the hair. Well, I guess past weekend. Last weekend, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Shut the fuck up. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk, dude. Why, why, dude? This is Topo Chico, <laughs> dude. It's mineral I didn't water. Even know you had that. It's mineral water. It's good dude, for your. It'd be your, so great. Good Can for I taste some? Brain. Yeah. What's that noise? Oh, is that the weekend? Yeah. Dude, is the weekend what? ghost here? Did he? <laughs> That is so weird. That's weird. There's like a car. Don't outside. slam it against the coffee table. Dude, You're about to slam the. If you the say, do your thing, bro. No, no, it's gonna break. It's, it's gonna, gonna break. break. I got this. I got this. Oh, do you have a can opener or a bottle opener? It's his ass side. Okay, so Stacey was about to slam a bottle that requires a bottle opener to open. Oh, there it is. Shit. There it is. <laughs> what did that mean? <laughs> well, dude, fucking, it's gonna get. I gotta do it fast. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it quick. There you go. Oh, shit. No, the reason why that happened is because you hit it. Here we go. Uh, you got to take a lot, dude. I mean, you can put your lips uh-huh, in it. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that you didn't. But you might have COVID. That didn't affect anything. Dude, if I have COVID, you've already gotten it. Just might be being next to you. And making love. <laughs> dude, no, you got to take, take a hit. A, a hit. hit? Yeah, because it. What is this? No, the, the carbonated water <laughs> won't affect you the same if it's like in the air. You got to like take a, a hit? Yeah, like a big sip. Big sip, big one. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Till it hurts your throat. Oh my god. There we go. See now you're feeling it. I feel he has like some sick fetish 
no, 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 no. So you felt like it, right? That. You felt yeah, it? Yeah, but... What do you keep saying? No, that mineral, mineral water is trash. Bro, you Unless can't say flavor. Unless trash after someone hands you something to drink. You just say, not my thing. Because now I'm, I'm not going to like it. No, well, that, you it'll... will like it. It's just trash in my opinion. Let's say, dude, I hand, let's say you hand me some food. Like, hey, can I try your burger? Right? And you give it to me. Yeah. And I go, oh, dude, this tastes like trash. What, what are your thoughts on when people do that? Because <laughs> Steezy does it a lot. Dennis does it. What are your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. It's annoying. How's it's it more annoying, annoying, though? It's just annoying when I'm, Ugh, tra-. I'm like, just shut the fuck up, dude. But it's like... No, no. I think this happens. This happens. Uh, so it, this is not as bad. Alejandro has this version, but on steroids with movies. And that oh, pisses yeah. me off. Oh, up. my God. Like, dude... Watching a movie with Alejandro is a very difficult task. <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> and I'm almost like considering me like every time we're going to go to like the movie theaters or something. I'm like, no, I, said yeah, nothing, Anthony, I said Anthony Bourdain movie was good. What do you mean? No, but you were acting up during it. And I'm like, dude, why is this fucking guy doing the whole thing, dude? In the middle of the documentary. What was I doing? You're like snoring. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, maybe if you had paid attention, I would have stopped doing it. <laughs> if if who paid attention? This guy. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. He, he was pretending. You have to pay no, no, because he was pretending not to see my bit. Right, the whole <laughs> I'm falling asleep story. So he said, "Hey, wake up!" I would have stopped, but he did it. So I kept going louder and louder. And dude, 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 I was just like this fucking guy, dude. I'm thinking, how is he not hearing me, dude? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we uh, uh, we went to Vegas. That was exciting. Well, but yeah, how was that? It it was very spontaneous. We we're going for Alejandro's uh, birthday, uh, like yeah. a late birthday celebration. We're turning forty five. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cockwise, cockwise. Like my <laughs> cock feels like it's forty five years old. <laughs> Is that good or bad? I don't know if that's good or bad. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's bad, dude. <laughs> you said cockwise, and I was just like, "What the <laughs> fuck do you mean by that?" Like in cock ears. <laughs> in cock- like, <laughs> What? I don't feel like these type of conversations. I mean, dude. because it's like, I don't even know what to add to it. <laughs> add your cock to the conversation, you know what I'm saying? All right, but anyway, so, so yeah. Keep cock going a doodle do. Cock a doodle do, bro. Good. Um, what was I even saying? Yeah, we're going to Vegas. Yeah, we're in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Hold on. Just, what's going just, it's not uh, even on, that on, funny, on, dude. One what, what, more thing before you say the Vegas thing. <laughs> just imagine if we named this podcast cock a doodle doo Dude, how is that funny? That's not even funny. <laughs> dude, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta let loose, dude. You gotta relax. Imagine, I'm just imagine, like, I don't understand. Imagine we had cock a doodle doo up here. Well, in another bad. dimension, we have it named cock a doodle doo. That bad. <laughs> dude, in another dimension, we have the name Steezy likes his cheeks getting clapped. Bro. By Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that name is way too long for marketing. <laughs> no, no, but another dimension where I get a marketing. <laughs> 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 we're just gonna clap each other. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's funny. <laughs> like, dude, the dimension where you're getting your 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 cheeks clapped. We're also bad at marketing. <laughs> like the most boring thing. <laughs> like that's also a Ooh. fucking thing that's going on in that universe. Do y'all believe that shit? That there's dimensions for that everything happened. Well, well, like the picture where both of you right now are. Uh, yeah, like the, like right now simultaneously, there's a, a reality where like three people are also speaking into a uh, podcast, but the microphones are cocks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's impossible. That, that would be that's impossible. That's probably the cockadoodle doo dimension. Yeah, cockadoodle doo dimension. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're so small, dude. We're like tiny fucking forms of life. Oh man! Yeah, I mean, especially Dennis. You know, Dennis, one hundred twenty pounds. One hundred twenty pounds. Exactly, no, dude. Because no we went to the gym today and we weighed ourselves. Where do they have a weight? I thing? mean, it's a gym, dude. They have a scale. weight a scale. scale. <laughs> okay. And he's one hundred twenty. Aren't you one fifty, bro? There's no way Dennis. He's one twenty. He's one twenty. That's why I was there's surprised no too. No way. I mean, that's what happens when you go. That's like vegan a high school. Yeah. I mean, he oh, because w- he's vegan. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And plus, he eats like Cheetos for breakfast. And he eats Cheetos for breakfast. So it's yeah. like, huh? Uh yeah, They're hollow. He's probably gonna get mad at me. Hey, why are you saying on the podcast? Well, listen, Dude, relax, Dennis. <laughs> How about you be here, sir, with your girlfriend, so you can defend yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I think his girlfriend Damn. might might be the same weight as him. Dude, what if she weighs more than him? Yeah. 
what is the power dynamic there does she get to muscle him around when he's like hey i don't want to go to that restaurant and be like i said we're going to a restaurant is she like, <laughs> and then she picks him up and yeah takes she picks him, him up like a baby and just like walks him over <laughs> damn all right but finish the vegas thing because too many branches he doesn't like the branches the yeah, branches. What do you mean? I don't like the branches. Last time you're like, dude, you cut off the branches. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta let the branches I grow. I did say that. I did say that. So all right, dude, let's let's go back to the Vegas branch. Well, I mean, it's it's. <clears throat> I, I'm just kind of like I, the reason why I brought it up is because I'm trying to get everyone to bring up like you know, there's so many things that went on the past couple of weeks. The only eventful thing that happened in Vegas was. Uh, we're at the crabs tables. I lost a hundred dollars and made it back. Oh yeah. So like in the entire trip, I was like a net positive eighty dollars. So I was just like, all right, fuck yeah, I didn't lose. How are you feeling by the way? Because I was so focused on the game, I wasn't checking on like how you were like. Was your heart beating? Were yeah, you no, it's out? very stress, dude. It's stressful to gamble. At least for me, uh, there's a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, just let go, fuck it, whatever happens happens. I'm like, dude, in my head, I'm like, I have. I put fifty dollars because it's two chips. Do it, and you see it go away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's gonna turn off the AC because we haven't done this in two months. So uh, yeah, so he's running back from turning off the AC right now. If you're watching the oh, he jumped over the camera and he's back. Sorry, right, back to the crap story. Yeah, basically it's very stressful. My heart was racing. I started getting a headache a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even kidding. I was headache? just after I got my a hundred dollars back, I was like, I need to walk away. <laughs> I need a moment because we had just eaten like. <laughs> This two hundred dollar meal too, which was sick as fuck, dude. And uh, that set the tone. So I was feeling very lighthearted and positive. And then we go straight into the cortisol hit that is gambling. And then we took a break. And then uh, me no no hundred lost a hundred dollars like in six minutes. I think it was, dude. It dude, was so fast. The money fast. goes like quick. It bro. was fast. What's Hold going on? on? What's up? Wait. So how much would would you say you were up total in Vegas? How much did you like win gambling from, from gambling? Wise? Yeah, eighty. 80. You won eighty. And how much would you say was your part in the dinner? What do you His mean part? Yeah. How much did you pay for in the dinner? Two hundred dollars each. Yeah, two hundred dollars each. It was yeah, a four hundred dollar dinner. It was so two hundred dollars steak, bro. So you were down one twenty, one one forty, one one eight, one twenty. One, 120 dude 118 well it's not down if you're buying food you're not down for buying you're food. down, yeah, like, you you're down if Pan- you buy 200 dollars food dude if you come back from panda express where you say hey dude i'm down 16 dollars no you <laughs> bought food no but 200 dollars food bro dude you should try it next time how, we go to wait, vegas how did you i'll guys buy it pay, for you how did you guys pay 200 dollars in food like what did you get we stole no i mean we we got <laughs> if you stole it would be zero dollars we got a three course meal Mm-hmm. So basically, and oysters and drinks. So it wasn't necessarily like a run of the mill fucking meal. Okay. What it was, it was a fucking premium experience. It was a culinary journey through all the fucking premium senses. culinary. Hmm. So they bring you a shrimp cocktail, a shrimp cocktail. And what shrimp, else did they bring? Shrimp like the, for the beer. entrees. <laughs> no, not the entrees, but this, um, the appetizers. It was a yeah. shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. It was four uh, fucking oysters. Four oysters? Which, which were like, I've never Jesus had oysters Christ. in my did, life. Did you guys eat all of that? Yeah. Was it a lot or was it It was like a small? lot of food. No, it was a lot. A lot of food. Yeah, I mean. expensive restaurants, they bring you like, you order a soup and it comes in like a, like this. <laughs> it was just too much, dude. Almost like, uh, so that was a, like the appetizers. And then the second course that was filet mignon and New York strip steak. Um, New York strip steak, which was, dude, I mean, amazing, amazing. I mean, that meat mm. melt in your mouth, melted. <laughs> and <laughs> what are you, the I'm the hype man, dude. <laughs> they also like when they brought melted. the steaks out. They also had a uh, potato mashed potato puree, puree, and basically it's like mashed potatoes but finer, fine, so, fine, fine, dude. And what else was there? There was so much shit. But at the end, they also give you a dessert. <laughs> Dessert, dessert. <laughs> I said desert. Yeah, uh, you said desert. <laughs> but are you a desert? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! That's why it was two hundred dollars. And we a got a whole fucking desert? desert, bro. Yeah. Wait, how do you spell a uh, dessert? Uh, two s's. Desert is one all right, s. All yeah. right. I was testing. If I was testing you. You um, passed. You no, passed. I, 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 I've learned that in elementary school, and my fourth grade teacher, Miss Trevino, made me memorize it because she said. You want more dessert. Oh. So you spell it with two S's because you want more. That's you a want good less way. Deserts. 
one. Well, why do you want de- less deserts? Because they fucking suck and they're boring. They're, they're dry hot and you get dry dehydrated. and shit. Yeah, I guess. But um, um, there's this restaurant in the tallest building downtown that we should go to. I didn't know there was a restaurant at the top where yeah. you can see all of LA. And it's uh, also another expensive restaurant. But I think it's like, I think you'll end up paying like $60. So it's kind of like. Fuck, no, it's probably going to be way more, dude. I looked at the menu prices, but. Well, no, if you have to get a lot of food, otherwise might as well not go, you know, because we could have gone to that restaurant and got in like the $20 little plate. $40. A $40 plate, but I mean, it's you got to get the whole experience. You know what I'm saying? Just for context, if you go to the drink section, I was like, oh, I'll get a cocktail or something like that. Oh, yeah. There's $78,000 wine. No, not seventy eight. I think it's seven thousand eight hundred. No, yeah, it had I don't think it was seventy eight. No, no, no. It was seventy eight thousand. There was no also way. seven. I don't think so. There was seventy seven hundred dollar wine, and there was seven eight three zeros wine. You probably looked. At the decimal was probably yeah, I think, in I think the wrong spot. No, dude. It's I'm telling you because it's the whole bottle and it's the aged shit. What's the fucking wine Jesus made or what? I don't know, but apparently, if you drink it, you will never get depression again. You better not, because you fucking spend seventy eight thousand dollars. No, on a you'll get wine. depression after you realize it's just wine. <laughs> um, but what'd you do? Um, well, my family came and visited uh, for four days, which was cool. I took them around L.A., showed them the beaches, took them in the mountains, and like took them downtown and just explored all of L.A. And it was cool to like be touristy again, because like we went on the Hollywood tour buses, but like the big one, mm. you go on the top. Yeah, the double decker. That's not what it's called. What? I don't think. It's Starline. No, it's Star bus. Two Ty- floors? the type of bus. Oh, okay. Type of bus. Huh. That's two floors? Yeah, two floors. So yeah. you were wrong and you shame me. All right. Cool. It's just double decker sounds Dude, why funny. are our feet always touching? I don't know. Why are you bringing that up? That's weird that you brought it up. Because I felt like the energy flowed <laughs> through him to me. So you were double decking it up in downtown LA with the fam bam? Yeah. No, it was fun to see LA again because like I, I got to see it from a new person's point of view. So everything kind of felt new to me yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What do uh, you do? Uh, you've been shooting like a short film, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, but w- when is this coming out? Uh, I thought I was going to be able to edit it while my family was here, but mm, <laughs> kind of like every day I was so tired because we did so much. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but... I think I'll be able to finish it. Two months? By the end of next week? No, like in two days. Okay. Um, so it should be up like very soon. Um, but yeah, uh, it's another singing in public. So it's an album in public, actually. Uh, so it took, dude, the in public scenes took so fucking long. Bro, I was out every single day for a week. Oh, I got to sit up. I was out every day for a week. Like singing the, these weird ass songs because you know Playboy Cardi is just like um, baby, m- yeah, it's like baby voice and like yelling that sounds weird and all these ad libs, and it was so hard to memorize everything while everybody's like staring at you thinking you're a crackhead. Everybody thought I was a crackhead because yeah. it's like I'm 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 singing gibberish and I don't even sound good. And that's what crackheads do. Yeah, exactly. It's crackhead <laughs> behavior, um, but. It was so hard to get reactions because, you know, when you see a crackhead, you're the etiquette is you to ignore, ignore them. them. Yeah. <clears throat> so everybody's just ignoring me. And Are it was we so hard. Bad people for doing that? I don't ignore crackheads. You just said you did. No, I'm saying that's etiquette for like the oh, average person. Oh, but we don't ignore crackheads. Yeah. Me and you don't do that. You do. It. You, I'm pretty sure you. Bro, one it. time we were walking back from the gym and Steezy walks away from the homeless no, people. No, that was you. I go through the homeless people. Nah. <clears throat> bro, don't switch it like and that. And I said, what's up, too? Hey, okay, we were walking down the sidewalk. Dude. Him and Dennis cross the street before we walk past homeless people. I walk past them. Yeah. You know, acknowledge them. We're like, hey, yo, what's I just didn't want to bother Wait, them. did you acknowledge them? Like, hello? Oh. No, because they didn't acknowledge me. Whoa. But usually I do. You just wanted to feel better about yourself walking through. But, but hey, at least I didn't cross the street to avoid them. No, dude, we crossed the street because it's a shortcut. You know it was a shortcut. I don't. I know it's so. a shortcut, but like it's still fucked up to do that. I would rather take the longer way and treat humans like humans. But you think a homeless man is going to care? Like, hey, that guy didn't pass through here. <laughs> you know no, they're not. I got to worry about his next crack hit. 
adventure. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so hold uh, on. So people don't give reactions. Yeah, no, people didn't give reactions. So I had to go out like every day and like get extra clips for different songs and stuff. Mm. Um, and my throat felt like it was going to start bleeding. Damn. Because like the way Playboy Cardi sounds, I just had to especially for the last song sky right had to yell so much for like four hours Fuck. and it was the most embarrassing week of my life because you know you just got to go out there and humiliate yourself because that's like what the songs in public is about so embarrassing but the funny thing is i'm out there acting like a crackhead and like people would recognize me oh. so i would see like so many people recognize me because like obviously the songs in public is my biggest thing right and when they see me singing yeah um but it, it was cool to see like people thinking i'm a crackhead and other people and then, and then they see people come and take pictures with me uh, and then i would see other people get confused like wait is that guy like famous crackhead famous crackhead <laughs> yeah. yeah uh so that was that was cool um yeah i just saw like genuine confusion in people's faces there must be good reactions then those but no? that, that's more like after i'm done mm. like when i take the headphones off and i'm talking to <clears throat> dennis that makes sense um yeah so it's not really like i could put that in the video yeah um do you feel like uh have you done before where you do sort of like a short film this long mix with so many multiple songs is it a short film is that what you would call it well like yeah scripted material i yeah. used to call them skits but like i don't think it's fair to call them skits like the coronavirus apocalypse for example right i guess it's like a skit a skit means like a short comedy video yeah but okay okay i think me starting to call them short films is will make them different i don't know because right. it is like it i mean yeah i feel like a skit is like a quick little thing that you film and like not highly produced you know yeah 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 no i mean uh yeah i see it it's a short film dude what's going on it's a short film oh the coronavirus apocalypse uh got in a this little film premiere oh uh, they're, they're gonna premiere it on august 27th uh, here in la or where yeah it's like this uh it's it's not like a it's not like a theater film premiere but it's like these guys that it's kind of like a comedy uh thing that somebody hosts i think out of their backyard kind of like the comedy show we went to right the mm. other time but they do it every month every last friday of every month and they uh premiere people's f short films that they work on so it's tomorrow no august 27th oh august 27th yeah you'll be back um, by then you want to go see it or what yeah yeah, see yeah. People's reactions? i asked him if i could vlog it too and i, th I think it would be like cool because it's gonna be like a whole audience there and right. i get to like see how people react to it and so you're gonna hear a lot of laughter dude it's probably gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna make your cock and ego go through the roof yeah i, I know i know you're gonna be like oh <laughs> shit i'm a fucking god <laughs> you know uh yeah i mean just because people are easily amused <gasps> Oh, I thought we were being positive. Like, no, I mean positive. It's probably. I mean, I liked it. I feel like it's so easy, like to make people laugh through a film. Obviously, I don't because, think so. No, well, at least for me. Oh shit! All right, no. that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. No, no, no because like you're, you're <laughs> sitting there and you're you're writing jokes and you're like perfectly crafting. Even right. when you edit it, you perfectly craft the the comedic timing. Mm. Now stand up, I can't do that for shit because you got to pretty much edit while you're on stage. You know, it's no, all no, about no, no. I mean, stand that people write it before they. No, do no, it. they no, write it. You but have it's more to about edit. The you have to. You, you have you to perform it on stage for to cut off the fat, trim the fat. Yeah, and like you could write shit jokes, but if your delivery is good, it's gonna be funny. So, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because wouldn't you agree if you write really good jokes, but your delivery is trash? I mean, same thing with acting. Like, because you were the one who said, um, I like how you said it. Stand up is like singing, like you got to hit the right notes. No, no, but I'm saying... Was it you that said that? Yeah, I probably said good things like that. Uh, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> it's the same thing as acting. Like, dude, when you write a script, like, for example, what the, the one I wrote, none of the jokes that I wrote were hitting because she didn't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, what? Like, what was one of the jokes? Uh, Like, I uh, wrote... I posted this video called TikToker Step on Top... Dance on Top of Homeless Man, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, the jokes were, like, oh what's this piece of trash doing here and like uh i don't speak homeless language i can't talk to it so those jokes if they had hit him like <laughs> they it sounded like they were just reading it 
I don't speak homeless language. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that. But that's joke just is bad gone. acting. No, that's what I'm saying. But I'm not. Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, it's a lot easier because like you could do multiple takes. You can edit it. You can rewrite while you're there. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I say it's like a lot easier to make people laugh through a film rather than. Have to you make seen them- Space Jam? Yeah, but the new one. No, I haven't. Horrible, dude. Horrible. I, I've heard. I've heard. So I don't think it's that it's easy. Uh, I mean, there are, there's so many examples like of, of bad. You can so say anything. Movies. You can say That's anything about anything. You know what I mean? You can say anything about anything. <laughs> He's right. You can't <laughs> yeah, say anything about that anything. That is true. You can say anything about anything. I mean, yeah, all these metaphors we're given, it's like, what is this? Like, of course, it, like you can... Say a, say a cool metaphor that we haven't heard. Like a good, uh, you know what I'm Like a good... Uh, a good what? Quote. <laughs> A good quote yeah like a like a quote that's gonna hit a us good hard quote you know what i'm a saying good quote. Well, what's something that quote that's right now that affect like something that that you're feeling right now like a funny quote or like a serious no, quote? Just any quote like a motivational quote that you're feeling right now that you kind of live in your life through that quote right now like at that moment um like uh one that i keep telling phil that, that i'm kind of living through right now is like if 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 you're serious, you're already lost. That's what I'm trying to tell. Like, if I kept, you're serious, you're already lost. Yeah. If you're if you're serious, you're already lost. Which means that if you take life serious, you're already lost. The whole point of life is out the window. Once you start getting serious, it's over, dude. Uh, cause dude, then it's then you can't really enjoy life because you're serious about it. Like for example, this podcast. Right, if someone was serious about, they 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 wouldn't be enjoying the conversation and flowing with it because they have an agenda. They're serious about it. Um, I mean, when we went to the casino, when we were gambling, you know, we ordered the steak. It's like, dude, let's fucking get the steak. Like, oh, we were broke. We have no money. Ah, don't worry about that. You know <laughs> like, that's too serious. And dude, and the steak was amazing. Bad financial advice. <laughs> no, like, no, don't worry and, about it. And no, here's why it was more amazing. Because dude, we couldn't afford it. I mean, we could afford it, but it was like, you know what I'm saying? I imagine this as a scene. Just keep talking. No, well, dude. The frame's close to his face okay uh and it's slowly zooming out so think think about this dude and he's a financial advisor Wh- with a why client. why don't we enjoy um uh, <laughs> so basically when you can afford food or like when it doesn't mean that much you don't enjoy that much right but dude this 200 hundred dollar meal dude we're fucking enjoying the fuck out of it because it was so over our budget uh that it basically means more um mm-hmm. but yeah i mean that's the whole thing like once you're serious dude when you take yourself serious People are going to make fun of you. So you get in your ego. Like, hey, you get mad when things happen. Like, hey, that's why I guess that's why I don't get that mad that often. Because, I mean, nothing's serious, bro. That's why I make fun of everything. I make fun of black people. Do that. make fun of homeless people. I make fun of pregnant women. I make fun of literally everybody in the world. Because to me, it's so funny, dude. Things are just funny. Uh, I mean, I, I guess my haircut's not that stupid anymore. But, dude, but when I had that stupid ass haircut, it was fucking hilarious dude. i looked at myself in the mirror and i'm like dude i look like garbage like this is <laughs> this is trash but it's so funny because i'm like dude uh yeah i mean dude, this is fucking hilarious so that that, uh, that that makes a lot of sense now that i'm thinking about it like pretty pretty much in every situation that i'm thinking about right now you're right when you get serious you lose yeah and I mean, the quote that i live by is life is too serious to be taken seriously Bro, that's the same quote. No, it's different. It's literally the same nah, quote. Nah, it's different. But life is too serious to... Wait, we'll say it again? Life is too serious to be taken seriously. That makes no sense. What that mean, quote makes no sense. Mean? No, no, no. It's life saying, is too serious to be taken seriously? No, no, no. It's saying, look, okay, you have one life, right? It's, you made that up? It's, life is too serious, okay? Right. To be taken seriously. So have fun. Because that makes no, no fucking no, it's sense. No, it's saying, it's saying, okay, you have one life, so you might as well have fun because this shit's too serious. Wait, what do you mean? Like, this life is too serious. I get so it. So have fun. I get it. Because it's like, uh, the so the life is too serious. Right. Uh, basically, the implication is that, uh, yeah, life has like all this, uh, all these stakes, like high stakes and everything could go wrong to be taken seriously so it's kind of looking at it and be like fuck it yeah fuck it this shit's too serious and let's did, have fun 
Life is too serious. Yeah, it to be barely makes it, dude. It barely makes it. But it makes it. Barely, but it dude. And even then, I had to think. I don't know. Even then, I don't know, dude. He's just trying to and be I'm nice. Gonna, I'm gonna put that on a shirt for merch. Definitely do not put that anywhere, <laughs> dude. Don't. What? Man. Life is too serious to be taken seriously. <laughs> I mean, I know it quote. sounds good. Like it sounds good, but when you think about it, you're like, wait, what the fuck? Uh, no, no, but because I was gonna roast it. I was gonna but roast it. Makes it sense, right? But like, I thought about it. It's like. You have to like life is too serious. Uh, pause comma. to be taken serious or comma to be taken seriously, dude. Just think about it. No, like I'm saying, like it sounds good. Like if I hear, oh yeah, yeah, don't be serious. But then I think about it, I'm like, the fuck does this mean? It doesn't matter what it means. Nothing matters. You know this is another quote I live by right now. What's up? Hit me with it. I can live my life with failure, but I can't live my life with what ifs, with regrets. Yeah. Or what ifs. Or regrets. <laughs> I can live my life with failure. Yeah. I mean that's that's uh that's uh that's a good one. When people are on their deathbed, ninety ninety years old, looking out the window, and people ask them, Hey, what do you wish you didn't do? And right. their response is You d- oh yeah. No, no, no. They, they ask them, What do you regret doing in life? They respond with, Well, I actually regret the things that I didn't do. Uh, there's something in yeah, there. Yeah. I think you're saying it wrong, but yeah, I'm I, probably I, saying. I it think wrong. I've I've seen I've seen. No one remembers. What? Yeah. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> okay, fine. I mean, I don't know. Did I don't know. Just, but we've heard it. We've heard it. It's a good quote. Uh, yeah, most regrets come from I think old people. Uh, I mean, I keep seeing what like I don't know if you read it somewhere. But I, I, I remember seeing like a Twitter thing about it where like uh, old people regret the things they didn't do more than the things they did do. Yeah. And I noticed, I think about that a lot ever since I heard that quote or read it in an article somewhere. And I think I read it in high school. But every time I see an opportunity, I think about my old self, like 90 years old, thinking, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the hospital bed with my heartbeat. I hear my heart beating from the machine beep, yeah and i'm beep, thinking of that memory beep, like why didn't beep, i just fucking do beep, it beep, i think of beep, all that before beep, i do something beep, beep, and then i fucking do it and <clears throat> damn i mean yeah i mean you are uh yeah i mean you're pretty good at uh doing embarrassing shit dude i mean uh yeah that's a good skill um uh, so with you dude over here fucking bad vibes depression i don't even want to turn this way dude i like happy vibes over here dude good shit how was that dude when vibes? i turn around dude it feels like I like fucking die dude like he's fucking you're withering away bro <laughs> no, i'm like deep in thought because we were talking about like this kind of deep shit in cock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> deep in cockadoodle do deep in cockadoodle do bro yo cockadoodle do kind of sounds like penis and shit yeah like cock and duty yeah, yeah. <laughs> like hey you stuck your cocky in my duty Yo, they should rename anal sex to cockadoodle do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, that's not bad. It might catch on somewhere in another dimension. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Somewhere in the world, yeah. Cockadoodle do. You want to do that cockadoodle do? <laughs> uh, well, what's, what are your quotes you're living by? Steezy gave us a one uh, very good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm right here. <laughs> No, I I guess uh, it's cliche, but I keep thinking of like memo, Memento Mori, like remember death. Uh, which That's not is, cliche. A lot of people don't know about that. Yeah, explain yeah. it for people who don't know. I know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> people who don't know. <laughs> no, I guess it, it's more so like remember that you will die, and it sounds like very uh, it sounds morose, but it's like well, it's, ex- also. I know what morose means. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But explain to the people who don't know what morose means. Morose means like dark, dark depressing. Depressing. You know, uh, yeah, dark, depressing. Dark, depressing. <laughs> we got this. But just remember death. Like, you know, uh, it's tied to another quote that I like a lot that says, is the life you're living right now any different than death? And it was posed by this guy, you know, one of the Stoics, I forget, I think it was Seneca or one of these motherfuckers who's like, Basically, he's trying to force you to to picture your life, the one that you're living right now. Right. And are you living in a routine? Are you not like trying anything new? Are you stuck in like this little box where as might as well you'd be fucking dead? If you disappeared right now, would the world miss you? No. You know, so it's that kind of thing of like, um, we live a lot 
thinking that life is going to last forever. A lot of our behavior comes like, oh, I'm going to be here for at least the next 60 years, you know, if you live up to be 80 or 90. But uh, one of my favorite rock drummers just died yesterday, like uh, from the band Slipknot. And mm-hmm. he was 46. And Damn. I was like, holy shit, that's young. Um, Fuck, bro. Because, I mean, they've been um, famous in the rock world for quite some time. How, and when did yeah never mind was he was like joke, he man. was 17 i think when he joined the band they were all like 19 20 basically but uh can you make fun of the dead or nah we can make fun of the dead right when did they die might be too soon, too soon. I, don't, I don't know what this yeah, uh, could for. <laughs> all right I'll, I'll hold on to the joke i mean he had like this crazy life that no one's gonna probably most average people will never meet like literally touring yeah. the world selling out stadiums win, winning grammys like meeting every single one of his idols so he, you're what you're saying is he actually lived longer than yeah because it's like person who, well, what about the person who's just like clocking like, in sort of like the spongebob meme right he's 70 know? years old but all he did was spend time at the office and it's yeah it's so difficult because like there's this balance of like you have to be productive and you have to have the environment for that and stuff like that but it's so easy to fall into that headspace of like oh i actually have to remind myself just to stop doing this thing so i can go live i mean the whole point of life is living it's not to fucking work have you seen soul yet yeah so i i mean alejandro didn't like it i saw it of course alejandro didn't like (laughs) it why does everybody (laughs) like that movie bro it's not that good it changed my life honestly it's uh i think all these movies i mean we saw old dude and and that movie old is good it there's all these movies that like hint at like our relationship with time and I think that's like the the biggest thing take away from most of these movies. That's why it's so relatable because you're like, oh my god, where did all the time go? Like, fuck. Mm-hmm. I look a lot of. Uh, uh, I don't know if you guys think about like past times, like high school or like childhood memories or stuff like that. And it's like this melancholy to it, like where. Oh, I know what melancholy means, right? But explain to the people what <laughs> melancholy means. I know what melancholy means as well. What does it mean, Steezy? It means sadness sadness yeah Melan- me- to be melancholic means to be like sad like depressed and shit like that but let right. us lie you did not he didn't know no that. no and, and, and no, doesn't mean sadness that. melancholy doesn't equal sadness it's a feeling of something it doesn't say feeling of what of sadness depression like, but <laughs> same, same but shit. No, no, because when you say sadness i'm like dude it doesn't mean sadness now if you said it's a feeling of that well what is sadness you know well, better, what is sadness it's we could a all feeling be fucking wrong let me look it up but yeah, yeah, keep yeah. going phil I know what melancholy means because it's a word in a, the one of the weekend's albums. Yeah. So of course I'm going to know. Well, be, the better term that I was trying to hint at was nostalgia, basically like romanticizing the there past. There you go. Okay. And you get like this, but I think melancholy is not like pure sadness. It's like the kind of sadness of where you're reminiscing about something and you get sad. It's mm, like good synonym. And yeah. melancholy is beyond. I sad. bet Alejandro doesn't know what reminisce means. <laughs> Yeah, it's just your. Uh, he doesn't see. He doesn't really, know because he would have responded. Yeah. You're deeply sad. With so no, it is sad. with no obvious. Oh, cause. so we got it wrong. We didn't add the deeply. It in says it. a feeling of damn deep, deep, like pensive sadness. But you don't know what pensive means, so that's why I said deeply sad. Typically, with no obvious <laughs> cause, and an air of melancholy surrounded him. Mm. Yeah. There is no air of melancholy. That's impossible. <laughs> Dude, Jesus, this is. But keep going, dude. <laughs> One of the things that I keep thinking of is, uh, so you guys are talking about like living in the moment and doing these things, you know, don't be uh, afraid about embarrassing yourself and shit like that. Yeah. So I think there's only a limited amount of experiences that we can experience like for the first time um, or like that are worth it. Mm. And would you guys get in a relationship? Would you guys get a girlfriend? Because to me, as far as like the human experience, connecting with another human being is probably one of the highest fucking experiences you can get. I don't know. Cause every time I think about getting with a human being, Oh, see how he didn't say girl. <laughs> okay. Bro. Cause <laughs> Phil said it like that. So I said the same thing, a female human, human being. We don't a judge. Female we don't specimen. judge. It, it's all right. Hey, Steezy. <laughs> it's okay. This is LA. You're in safe place. Um, I just think about there might be trust issues, but like oh, I just think about you know fucking her fucking everything up. 
Mm. So, you know what? I can't see myself giving affection to like somebody, you know? Yeah. Which I was thinking about the other day. It, isn't it so weird that, like, what do you call it? Um, partners? Yeah. Like boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever the fuck. <laughs> that is the only type of relationship that ends negatively. No, no, it doesn't have to end negatively. Well, most of the time it does. Because after a breakup, like, you can't be friends after that. But, like, two friends, like, that relationship is always positive. Unless they have a huge fight. Like, so one of them fucks I mean, kind the of. other of Friends grow apart all the fucking time. Yeah, but it, it's never negative. It's never, well, it's like, not a, that it's never it's negative. Ne- it's never a sharp end. It's less, like... No, no, I mean, there are fucking sharp ends. Dude. Like, yeah, a guy there's fucks a big argument, girlfriend. but it's rare. Yeah, it's Now, true. even with family, like, that relationship... And the only thing that makes boyfriend and girlfriend always a sharp end is because it's exclusive not that it's exclusive and and it's not supposed to be exclusive but society says it's supposed to be well let me ask you this question then would you want to be with a girl who's out here fucking 100 guys no 100 guys that's a <laughs> lot girl? that's what all girls are doing right now <laughs> tiktok era tinder era but i mean no no is that about i mean dude you want to be with a person and what makes it special is that yeah it's what make, rare what makes it special yeah, yeah. is that they're just with you that's what makes it special because what's the point of being with someone dude when they're with everybody where's the specialness in that but yeah. what about you know what about <laughs> like um your sister yeah you don't get jealous Damn. when she is somebody else's sister i mean Why? i don't know maybe i would have i don't know like, no but like, like you, don't, you don't get no, jealous no, no, that 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 she's also your brother's sister. Your your well, uh, he's my brother. The significant other. Yeah, but or or let's let's say it like this. <laughs> 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 let's say it like this. Your 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 dad. Yeah, no, but that's different. That's different. Your because, dad. Your dad no, no. is somebody else's father. No, no, but that's different because you grew up sharing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, like, no. But like you like, grew up you, in a family. Like you, you have a stepbrother, and he's like. His father. Well, maybe as if well. I had a stepbrother, maybe I would be jealous. Like, hey, my dad likes better that guy. Oh, stepbrother, I got stuck. Or yeah, he gets stuck, and I gotta. Uh, <laughs> that was saying, help him out. Uh, <laughs> naked. I hope him out naked. Give Don't him. get stuck in dryers. Give him my hand. Little, yeah, little hand over there. Oh uh, no, but anyways, uh, I mean, I think with family is different, dude. Because family, you're just used no, to like, but, it's family. No, but 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 it, that's my point. It's different. So, no, no, because with a girl, you're making out with her, kissing her. I mean, dude, I'm not doing that with any of my family members. So <laughs> when you see, when Why you're not? with her, dude. But what says that we have to make out and kiss our partners? Because you got to release those emotions you're feeling towards her. And that's how we release them. I mean, dude, there's this sticking have to it in. Like, you don't have to do, but you do. Okay. There's like the different types of love, like the yeah. Greek fucking, I forget all of them, but it's like the philos, uh, whatever bullshit, bullshit. It's like the friendship love, the yeah, family, the family familial love. love, and the like, the romantic love, the platonic, platonic, uh, and all yeah. this other shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think whenever you're with a girl, like in that relationship, you're opening yourself, like you're way more vulnerable with her, like in different ways than you would be with family. That's what I don't like. I don't like vulnerability. Well, Dude, you literally tell me. Oh, I don't want to go. There. Okay, keep going. <laughs> if you don't have vulnerability you are living the most limiting human experience you could possibly have because without the risk of getting hurt, there's never the risk of being happy. Dr. Phil. No, I promise you that. And then I can put it another way. Dr. (laughs) Phil. And I can put it another way. I can put it in a simpler way, dude. Dr. Phil. When you go, when you gamble all your rent money, (laughs) your name is probably Alejandro. (laughs) But uh, the feeling, dude, that you are everything that you have it's on the table it's so extreme <laughs> that when you when you do hit it and you win dude you're fucking excited you're crazy because you were so close to death so it's the same thing with death? a relationship or with anything like when you make an album when artists really put like yo my uncle touched me or stuff like that in the album <laughs> in the album yeah yeah i went home one afternoon and my uncle touched my pee pee What's up with you? I don't yeah, know. With you. Uh, or like when they say they thought about the suicide. Album. It's called What's Up With You. What's up with you? My uncle touched me. That's what's up with me. And the album's about projecting. He's saying what's up with you, but really the problem's with him. The album covers a projector. Deep. 
Oh, title. it's a projector. And he's just like, it's his face every day. <laughs> and it's his uh, uncle's hand. We over actually his just shoulder. made a fire branding for an album like in five seconds. Yeah. Maybe we should. Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we release a uh, pull out podcast original song? You know, yeah, talk so about, music. about our uncles touching our peepees. That would be hilarious. <laughs> well, well, unless it happened to you, that is not hilarious. <laughs> but if it didn't happen to you, then yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> One of us starts crying. The other have you guys seen that? <laughs> have you guys seen that TikTok? <laughs> where like, uh, what is it? It's the girl that's narrating. Oh, shaking her ass. No, she's oh, sh- that TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> she's shaving her husband's uh, beard. He was like, so this is my husband. He wanted to grow out his beard, but uh, I'm shaving it right now because I told him I didn't like it. Because every time we kissed, it feels like. She- her it trigger. It gave me instant flashbacks of my father raping me. What? Shit, dude. And dude, and all the comments were literally saying of, as to like that was such a sharp fucking left turn to the TikTok because the whole thing is like very upbeat and she's shaving him and it's right. like oh you know symmetry and it's like a little bit of if you if you have OCD. Damn. And she's like uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty it's just, dark. <laughs> it's really everyone dark. was stitching it and just like uh, film your reaction to this, mm-hmm. but don't watch it. Right, and you would just see people go like, "Wait, what do you mean?" But don't watch it, like, um, like stitch this without, like, pause the video, stitch oh, this gotcha, type gotcha. thing, and just give your natural reaction. And there's so many hilarious ones that I mean, I was on their floor laughing. Damn, you were dude. on the floor laughing. Yeah, were you actually Raffle on the Lamau. floor? You were Raffling Lamau. Raffling Lamau. Yeah, Lamau is laughing mean? my ass off. Raffling is <laughs> rolling on, on the, the floor. That's laughing. what I said. You were Raffling Lamau. <laughs> no, you I've never ra- heard somebody say to, that. You were r- Raffling the Mao. Yeah, Roffling. You know what Roffling is? Rolling on the ground, fucking laughing. What the fuck? What? Rolling on the floor Rolling laughing. Rolling on the floor laughing. Roffle, not Roggle. Ruff- I've never heard that in my life. Dude. That's it. probably part of your guys' generation. Yeah. Whoa. You're right. <laughs> uh, wait, so wait, wait. Uh, why don't I bury my <laughs> There's so many right? branches, dude. We're like, what branch? <laughs> what is going wait, on I wanted here? to ask a question. We're falling. About no the girlfriend situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, hold on. That's what I'm saying. So that's when you put yourself out there. In music, people really connect to it, but it also, you know, well, like when I, when a person says, "I want to kill myself," not because you know it's cool, like they actually did it, like wanted to do it, not because they you know, killed themselves. Now rappers, that's what, yeah, that's why pretend. A lot of, that's why Billie Eilish is like one of the biggest artists. Why? Because like her mom, she said in an interview that her mom told her that she needs to stop singing about suicide and singing that she doesn't like herself and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and, she, and she was saying more people would listen if you if you cut all that out. And she she disagreed. She was like, no, I think the reason why people listen to me is because I say stuff like that. But does she really that, that you know what I'm saying? Cause some artists like to pretend or like you know they write it because it's cool. I'm talking about the artists who really fucking mean it, which is hard to tell. Like X, would you say X? Yeah. Well, that, I mean, there's that, no way to know. Well, no, that motherfucker did a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like him, I believe. Yeah, but uh, Billie I don't Eilish. know. You don't necessarily have to have like this super hard life to like. Uh, well, why would you yeah, kill yourself? I mean, if everybody's you didn't have thought a hard about life? suicide before. Yeah, everyone has thought about killing themselves. Yeah, yeah, but you know, you think about it, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna go get McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess but but right. not like the real suicide, where it's like you fucking <laughs> hanging up the rope and you're fucking like, you know, putting your neck in there, like being like last second. <sighs> okay, never mind. And you're shaking on the ground for the rest of the day. Yeah, I've, I've never done that. It's like, oh, I got a bad haircut. Should I suicide myself? <laughs> suicide yourself? Oh no! Dude, what do you? Hey, you what do you want to go eat? You know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Uh, you you hide the feelings <laughs> in food. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the question was gonna be. Yeah, but not really. We're talking about not really. How Phil was saying that you have to be really vulnerable to feel the most emotions. No, but this is separate. So what I was gonna ask was, oh, I thought about this question earlier today, but I forgot it. Let me think about it real quick. Let me try to remember. That's not going to work. You need to forget about it and it'll come back to you. Yeah. But, um, I mean, do you guys agree with that? Oh, like oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, Cutting if you off? if you have a girlfriend and you've been going out with her for three years, all right? Right. This is a, would you, uh, would you would rather, you, I think it is? Would you rather? Would you rather? No, no, no. This is more like, would you? blocking my angle. Okay. Uh, so, if you were going out with your girl for three years yeah and then her ex dies fuck him and you know she <laughs> and she is like crying about it the and fuck? she's talking about it with you i will knock her out what would you do 
what would you do? How long were they together? Yeah. That's uh, a good question. Before I knock her out, that would be a good question <laughs> to ask. <laughs> You're like immediately fucking escalated. Uh, let's say it's nothing crazy. Six months. Dude, you shouldn't be even. Okay, a year. Getting a message a year. that your ex died. It's still this. A year. It's not enough. How old, how old is this girl? She is, I don't know, same age as you. I mean, if she's 27, yeah, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're saying she was like maybe younger, okay, it was years. her first love okay. and all this, shut the fuck up too. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. No, okay. Let's say they were going out for three years. Right. What would you be doing then? Uh, I mean, I guess, you know what? I'm an understandable human being. We can let it slide for like maybe a couple of minutes. Yeah. What would be your maximum like duration for her to like mourn about it? I don't Before know, you start dude. Annoyed. I feel like uh, she would forget about him as soon as I come in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Like she wouldn't even. <laughs> what do you mean? Because you knock her Isn't out. Isn't this a difficult conversation? No, 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 no. It's not. Like, it's not no, difficult. Imagine. If, what would you it's do? fucked up, but it's like. Well, give give us exactly a break. Because you know how she's many gonna be, years. You know she's gonna be thinking about him that whole week. How many like, guys has she fucked? You know, everything matters. First <laughs> love is the first. It's love, not that complicated. Love. No, it is. What dude. would you do, Phil? Just some random dude. Shut the fuck uh, up. I'm trying to think of like. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this hit close to home. No, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just being. Oh, yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> no I'm kidding. No, I'm like, dude, there's so many moving, <laughs> there's so many moving parts because it might be like what's going on with her life at the point in time and all this other right. shit. But to give you, not, to, I don't want to be one of those people who's like, oh, well, it depends. You're right. Fuck those people. Yeah, fuck give an those, answer. You, you are those people. No, no, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> give an answer. I was just trying to uh, go ahead. I would say like it. <laughs> If we're together for three years and then she starts crying because her ex boyfriend died, I'd probably give it a day. A day? Yeah, you're to be honest, man. I'd be like, you know what? Let me just give her some distance. I don't know what the fuck is happening. And you go fuck other girls. Okay, I like the way you think. <laughs> I like the way Phil thinks, dude. No, I mean, dude, if she's crying, I was like, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like, what happened? So many things happen in a relationship that you don't even see it. Yeah, you know what I'm maybe, saying? Uh, yeah. And then, and the second day, beat the fuck out of her <laughs> that's what i'm talking about he's back he's back <laughs> yeah I'm grab a crowbar and you make the tears end no but um <laughs> but i thought about this question while i was getting the haircut and i was like this is a really fucking interesting conversation topic because you know it, it would it would suck to see your girlfriend like crying about another guy yeah but like also it's not like she could go fuck him Cause he's dead, uh, so it's, it's like still a little bit it's possible. Like, it's well, like mixed. Emotions. Can't you get hard after like ten minutes or fifteen minutes if you're dead? You can still get hard, bro. Shut <laughs> up. No, that's the thing. Okay, he got ran over by a bus and his body is demangled. Oh, okay, demangle, demangle, mangle. I don't think that's a word. to demangle. <laughs> is it not? It doesn't no. matter. Uh, it matters a little bit, but <laughs> like, cause it's like, you, what should I, I order? It's the weird. Thing? It's weird that you'll be. Cause you would be jealous. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but realistically, like, why would you dude. Be realistically, dude. I mean, here, here's here's what I'm saying. That's my question. Why, no, no. Why why would we get jealous of that? No, no. Here, it's, it's, for me, is that the jealousy part? For like me, somebody died. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So for me, it's not the jealousy part. For me, it's the more like you're being annoying. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, like, why I, is she being annoying? Because well, I mean, no, no. She like, was with no, this here's guy. what I'm saying. So if she's like, hey, I'm a little bit depressed. Like, okay, cool. Uh, do your thing, right? But if it's like, <laughs> no, hold on, 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 hold what do you say so direct <laughs> like that? You don't have to say that. You don't have to just add to those details. With, just to fuck with it, man. <laughs> all right, all right. But explain right, how. Here, here, so, here. so you come up to me or you call me on the phone? Well, how? What? What's going on? Is in person? Is this a person? Huh? Is this in person or over the phone? This is over the phone. Okay. So you're calling me. Hey, um, Ali. Yo, what's up, sugar mama? <laughs> what's um, going on? Like that they gave you last night. <laughs> no, I went, really. I went raw too. Where you were looking, I took the condom out. You fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> no, it's not that, honey. I uh, I just wanted to talk to you about something because um, something happened. Oh yeah, I put abortion it, pills on your <laughs> on your drink. <laughs> abortion pills? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're feeling? What the fuck are abortion? <laughs> is that what pills? you're feeling sick? My bad. 
I put too many up. I put rad poison in your coffee. <laughs> oh, no. I, I'm actually just calling because... Hey, hey, that money the, wasn't there when I came in, okay? I didn't take that money. It was gone when I got there. <laughs> No, 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 honey. You don't understand. Oh. I'm actually just calling because I'm going to probably be away for the next week. I'm depressed because um, this is hard to say, but. Say it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting my time. Time is money. And I'm going to go gamble all this shit away. Uh, you remember um, Jason? Jason? Hold on, bitch. What do you mean, Jason? My ex just died. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> He dead, I you know say. Yeah, what is this role play? Swim with the fishies. Swim with the fucking um, little fishies. I just wanted to tell you that he passed away yesterday. He got ran over by a bus. Why the, why the fuck do I care? What's going on, dude? Why are you telling me this bullshit? He's dead. He's gone. Let's move on. And I just wanted to let you know that that's why I'm gonna be sad for like the next week. Next week, you fucking this. No, I was about to say something hey. that I'll say it later on, but right now these guys, you're gonna get canceled if you say that. No, I won't. But uh, you, you fucking, just, <laughs> bro, you fuck, you have a split personalities. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You fucking a Joker, huh? <laughs> you, fucking, <laughs> you fucking a Joker? What's going on? A week? One more, a week? We've been dating for three years. What do you mean a week? Well, I was dating. When your mom dies, you cry a week. When your dad dies, you cry a week. When your brother dies. Maybe two days. Yeah, when your well, ex dies, you cry no tears, stupid bitch. I'm going to beat your ass up again. Yeah, well, I was dating him twice as long as we were, we've were we been dating. Six years? And yes. why'd you break up? Because you um, cheated on him with me. Yeah, I remember now. Shit. Good, good choice. Well, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, bye. All right, we'll send your sister over then, bitch. All right. I mean, that's how, that's how <laughs> that's we're going to have conversation. That's how we're going to have pretty good. I was going to say... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but uh no uh, no what i'm saying no like, no 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 what i'm saying to like the real it's like i would just be like hey dude i mean get over Bro, it like i have tears i was really playing that part yeah, me too dude the fuck i'm mad you, mean? <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're mad uh but it's me like dude if they're crying for a week i'm like dude the fuck what's going on you know what i'm saying it's annoying like i wouldn't care she's like it's annoying i remember this one girl started talking to me about her family problems and i literally told her this what this were my exact words now looking back at it i guess it was a little bit heartless and inhumane but oh, you're about to say some <laughs> no, 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 foul dude. shit but also looking back at it it's pretty good you know what i'm saying it's pretty good so which one was it foul and, and, and inhumane or pretty good uh it was both yeah. i mean for her it was both okay Basically, just say it what, what, did you, what did you say she's talking to me about her problems with work school and family and i literally look at her and say look i just got out of work uh, we're probably going to hang out for three hours. I don't want to hear you complaining. We're either going to go have fun or not. That's it. And of course, then she started crying and all this bullshit. Oh, my so God. I guess, I guess, oh, my God. I guess so I made it mean, worse. Of course, she started I guess crying. I made it worse. Of course, she started crying. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know. That was, but her, I thought her reaction was going to be like, you know what? You're right. Let's go fuck right now. You know? Let's go you know what i'm gonna call my sister her friends they all let's go have orgies that's what i thought was gonna happen i thought i was about to have an orgy what? instead she was crying <laughs> you know what i'm saying she maybe was, i need more of that in my life because when, through. when people open up to me I, i'm like listening not me remember yeah. when maurice opened up to me about his girl and I said, there's probably three black guys pounding her right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that made, that Dude, he's in the it? middle of a fucking... Um, I don't want to talk too much, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, well, let's not say a name. A friend of ours. I mean, you already said you it. You already said what it. What the fuck? Who, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we can block it. I mean, I'll say this. I'll beep it. You say a friend of ours. Oh, say whatever. doesn't matter. Yeah, like, gives a fuck. I'm pretty... <laughs> I think the difference is like the the friends group is really balanced because if uh, if Dennis were to break up with his girlfriend... Connor, he would go to Phil because you wouldn't. Steezy yeah. would just say... What was... The, okay, reenact Steezy. I'm Dennis. Like, <laughs> hey... Uh, this is a, <laughs> hey, uh, um, Steezy, um, you know, since I'm a loser, I'm a Phil YouTuber and I rarely upload and get no views. What are we talking about? Uh, Steezy or Dennis? No, you're Steezy. Oh. I'm Dennis. I'm Dennis. Okay. Hey, is it, huh? Why would you confuse me with me? Of course I'm dead, dude. All right, but anyways, I'm a fellow YouTuber. I get no views, and uh, I mean, I have an accent. And okay, I don't play the accent. It's Deezy. Uh, 
You know, it's trash, man. The bitch left me. Uh, I'm not a legend no more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, that, that is so That sounds weird. exactly like that. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, oh, keep going, keep going. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, uh, she found someone to um, fuck her in the pussy better than me. Uh, I'm feeling kind of depressed. Damn. That would be exactly your reaction. You <laughs> That's would, it? And you would close the door. You would clean because you would knock on your door. So he would, he would say all that or here's another version. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it, dude. <laughs> I don't get it. So what happened? She broke up with me. Huh. Dude, it's just like that would be it. No, no, that no, would be that. I I want to make it funnier, but I think that's very accurate. All right, now you do all you do Dennis, and this is Alejandro, and Dennis telling me that his girlfriend broke up with her. Yo, fucker. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, man, my girlfriend. Uh, fuck, dude. There goes the pussy. She's gone. Perfect. What do you mean she's gone? Uh, she she broke up with me last night. Man, she's probably getting railed by fourteen black matumbos right now in the bedroom. <laughs> matumbos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something I would say. Yeah, that's probably what I would say. Wait, dude. what are matumbos? That fucking hippopotamus, right from the matumbo. Hippos? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't know. I no, don't know where it's from. I no, just it's, it's from this thing where like this big matumbo dude com- comes out of the Jesus water. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's yeah. Huge. And he'd be like, man, you need to shut the fuck up, work on yourself, you know. She's already fucking guys with bigger dicks, bigger wallets, more clout than you. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, you're 5'5". Five, five. Grow up already. Yeah. When are you going to grow up? And then he's going to be like, uh, what else would he say? No, I think he would say that. And then Dennis would be like, um, you have to give me, like, I don't know what Dennis would say to probably that. Probably walk away at that Yeah, he would, he would get just, mad. He'd probably get mad. He'd get mad and be like, man, shut, stop being a fucking little bitch that's what he would say alejandro like whenever he's getting mad now Damn, dude, if those dennis, are two complete like different ends of the spectrum if dennis were to talk to me though uh i'd be like you would give all the logical yeah i mean phil would uh no i would comfort a friend yeah he dude. would comfort him. what do you mean logical i'm not well, like like, like according you, to my do. statistics yeah yeah no i think like uh well yeah i don't know what i would do maybe i would just be like Oh, this motherfucker again and just walk away in the middle no nah, nah, no phil would comfort him yeah phil yeah. would comfort him phil would go hey dude let's phil's go the only normal person <laughs> honestly yeah phil's probably the only normal person uh in this apartment <laughs> did i remember like he's suppressing his wild side and one day he's gonna burst and he's gonna kill all of us no i think i'd let my wild side like in art because what just, art dude what have you made that's good Okay, so that angers me. No, I'm just saying, dude. Because <laughs> you're talking me. like you're this fucking amazing painter. Like, I let my wild side in. No, you <laughs> thought that. You thought that. So Okay, so what have you done with your wild side in art? The wild side in art? Well, no. I mean, I haven't published it, if that's what you're asking. Well, there's a reason why you haven't published it, because it's probably not good. Yeah, probably not. There you go, dude. But it's still wild. What is it? Okay. <laughs> what is it, dude? <laughs> it's a rock opera. No, it's not. What? <laughs> no, no. Rock opera. No, I'm stealing it from the it? movie that we saw. Uh, My wild side comes out like around midnight. You remember that <laughs> m- meme that you sent? Yeah. That thing is whenever I'm like, I need to perform for people. That's what it is. Mm. I was just like, dude, I need to express this now. Not later, not five minutes, now. And then I get all the, the spirit of Jim Carrey, and it's just like all of a sudden yeah, it starts Didn't that meme that I said? Yeah, it was perfect. He moved exactly, exactly like, like, Phil. like Phil. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't know how people move like that. It's crazy. The, 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 that was a swimming coach for the Olympics, and it went viral because mm-hmm. he, he just let all his emotions out whenever his uh, <laughs> students or whatever, like one. Yeah. He just, dude, yeah, you should was, see the full clip. He just went crazy. No, that was good. That was a good clip. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, I was going to say, what the fuck were we oh, talking we're about? Oh, we're talking about comforting Dennis when oh, he breaks Oh, no, no, up the relationships. Shit. We're talking about how... So oh, yeah, branches. basically, you have to be... <laughs> no, you, like, to bring it for a circle. Fucking Amazon. Dude, if you're not... Amazon has branches? Yeah, yeah. what? You like mean the, the river? forest. What, the river? <laughs> no, it's the Amazon River. No, I said forest. Oh, okay. But Anyways. Is there a forest? Yeah. I mean, the that, Amazon forest? Dude, if there's an Amazon River, where Well, is there's forests around it. The Amazon is like the area. That's what I said, the Amazon. Why are we talking about this? Then? What are we, Jeff Bezos? Another branch. Another Relax. branch, dude. 
Oh, his laugh, the most evil laugh in the world, by the way. Uh, after he came back from his dildo fucking rocket the, ship. The, the, the robot arms, like he's controlling the arms, like yeah. in Spider-Man. And he's laughing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, That's yeah, his yeah. laugh. That's his exact <laughs> laugh. Uh, Phil just has it naturally. Mm. <laughs> I want to play a villain. Okay? I want to play a dude, killer, dude. I saw dude. the way your hair moved in that, that latest video. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you would play a great Joker. The, when the when you first walk in the door in the video, when the yeah. camera's like behind you, just the way you're walking and your hair's like behind you. So I think like the you saying oh, that is striking skills. my ego to the max. Well, he's forgetting about my directing skills and angles. So that I remember Alejandro was kept saying how shitty my acting was through the whole film. Dude, you and know how many, you know many me, takes dude. we took? Uh, you want me to show him all the outtakes? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? The, here's another thing. I have to learn the entire fucking thing. Yeah, That's on the spot. Literally like 30 question. seconds. Hey, we got a call. He's not going to be. I'm like, what the fuck? But anyways, the my dream role, which I'm going to ask you guys, uh, what like a dream, I guess, job in entertainment, whether it's acting, directing, whatever. My dream job has always been the Joker. And the reason why is because there's nothing that you can take away from the Joker. The Joker doesn't value anything. He just, he's a chaotic villain, which makes him the best fucking villain. So he doesn't care if you beat the shit out of him. He doesn't have a loved one. What if you fuck him in the ass every day? You think he, he would care then? No. Damn. Yeah. He's just like... Joker? No, he, kidding. He's like this <laughs> well, hurricane of chaos, basically. <laughs> yeah, are you the Joker? Or what? Was gonna no, he's saying he was going to call it Joker. <laughs> Yeah. yeah but no i mean basically uh i i love those kind of uh just unhinged uh characters dude they're so fucking fun but, to but play but you don't think it's too overhyped now where it's like ah oh, another guy trying to play the joker well you know i wouldn't do, i i wouldn't i wouldn't even fucking consider doing it like it, even in if somebody said hey now you get a year to train and stuff like that i would not do it i would yeah. not like i know in my head it's like what it takes to do that like there's no fucking people um and Antonio Anderas talks about this a lot, about like the roles that he takes. It's like, you can do shit too early. That is also another thing where like, you're not ready for something like that. And you end up fucking it up instead of being patient and be like, you know what? Let me develop myself a little bit more. And then once I get to that spot, I'll be good. And it's like this whole balance thing. But uh, yeah, I, I think like the, um, I'm open to a relationship and all these things that kind of open your heart because I realize like, if you don't allow yourself to do that, you'll never make significant art. Like with art, you do have to pour yourself into. So now you art. are saying that art comes from pain. No, it doesn't always come from pain because being vulnerable it doesn't necessarily mean you're hurt all the time. No, no, but you are gonna get hurt. That's where the art comes from, dude. You kind of did say that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm no, no, it doesn't, dude. You can be oh. happy. Got gotcha. you. Right. What do you mean, got gotcha. you? There's no. But in order to be happy, got your ass. You know what I'm saying? But in order to be happy, you had to have like been sad at one point boom i heard this quote dude what the fuck that, obviously what that, kind of boom moment is no that? no no no. it's a, it's a huge boom <laughs> hey whatever it's a, it's a, there's no rain it's a huge it doesn't boom rain moment, dude the bowman was booming so it's this dude <laughs> the bowman was booming dude you can only be <laughs> as what i heard you can only be as happy compared to as sad that you've been so the happiness is compared to how so if you do it if you've been super fucking depressed your happiness is gonna be up here but if you've been kind of because dude that's what you're compare it to. You know how you like how sad it used to be. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. So pause. Jesus. No, no, no. <laughs> pause. Basically, what I heard is why do rattlesnakes rattle? So you just uh, you said, hey, I don't want to have a girlfriend because uh, I don't want to open that part of myself. And you just said you can't have the rainbow without a little no, rain. That's that's reversed. Because first you're getting the rainbow, and then you get the rain yeah. with the relationship. I don't know what he's saying. I'm just saying, yeah. Because you, you have so much fun and then you break up. So it's like you get the rainbow first and then you get the rain. I yeah, but why? The, it's what like going you, to the beach because going to the beach sucks. It's like a bunch of fun playing in the water, but then you get the cleanup after and it ruins the whole thing. And then you tell yourself, why would I'm it never going to go thing? to the beach again. Dude, do you have a problem with sand? No, and it's beach. like... Fuck sand. Well, do you watch movies and you're like, oh, fuck movies. I'm never going to watch movies again. They always end. Like I'm enjoying this and all of a sudden it goes, or you're listening to a song Just or you're eating it. a yeah. meal and you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to fucking eat food again. Or you go to listen to a joke. I'm like, I hate jokes. They always end. Like the whole point is that you got to experience that thing. 
And if you keep thinking of like, oh my God, this might end and shit like that, you're pulling yourself out of like the whole point of doing like being vulnerable and enjoying life and shit. But relationships don't even sound fun to me. Well, because you have a bad view on them. And I think anyone who's like anti-relationship has trauma that they're projecting oh or i mean I, that's why i love relationships you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm serious that's i'm, I'm a relationship guy but yeah, like if i if i ever catch myself being affectionate with a girl or uh, any uh, type of corny shit bro i just think that's like so just lame why is that lame well hold on that he already lost because he took it too serious or he's taking himself too serious he thinks he's cool mm. once you think you're cool mm. you're not cool yeah, you might think you're all this, and I was like, no, I can't be hurt. And it's like, would you rather eat? Full a, would you rather like eat a cupcake, for example, and then after that, like, never be able to eat a cupcake that good, and a be cupcake. like, oh, a cupcake? Yeah, what's going on, dude? Where's the cupcake? Cupcake. <laughs> would Who you has got cupcake? <laughs> would you rather eat a meal that was so fucking good, and you never got to eat a meal that good ever, right? then uh you know and you get to live with the memory and that experience and the whole thing then rather but, not eat the meal at all at all you know i've noticed that about my personality and i always choose not eating it at all like i was just talking because about because you don't want to miss it yeah like i was just uh, i can't think of an example but like um an apple watch i've always wanted an apple watch but i've never bought one because i don't want to like have uh, that's a bad example I no, mean, no, don't I'm cry that it ended. Be happy that it happened. I'd rather never have it than to like have a cool little new accessory that makes things easier with like notifications and stuff. Yeah. I'd rather not have it because I don't want to ever like worry about, oh, it's not charged, so I can't take it to this place. But that's whatever. a little bit less to worry. Because, I mean, you're all talking about different things. You're talking about the... Relying on things, I guess, more. Yeah, you're talking about other aspects of things. You're talking about like the whole, you know... It, brings things to his brain that he's got to take care of that's why you don't want many things so that's why you got to be simple it's talking about living a simple life you know because having apple watches yeah, yeah. so but he's talking about control exp- it basically this is a conversation about control whenever we try to control every aspect of our lives and we're like i'm not going to do this because i don't know what the outcome is going to be right okay like if you go into a relationship you don't know if you're going to marry and be literally for the rest of your life with them or you're going to break up now what happens is like we've been trained to be like, oh my God, dude, you're going to break up. You're probably not going to be with that girl and all this other shit. And it's like, well, if you have that train of thought, why do anything? Why make your bed if it's going to get messy the same day? Why brush your teeth if they're going to get fucking dirty? I know the answer to that one, but it's more so like, don't think about like the fucking shitty aspect of it. What's the whole point then? Like if you keep looking at the thing, I was like, oh my God, it ended. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, but yeah. Anyways, uh, always going to break. <laughs> uh, Basically, I mean, dude, I'm the only one who has been in a relationship between both of y'all fucking losers over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, dude, look at y'all. And, uh, hey, what are you gonna go for? You know what buddy? I'm saying? So let, let, let the man with experience speak. What's yeah. going on over here, dude? Don't it, just don't acknowledge it. <clears throat> okay, I won't. Um, so here, uh, basically, dude, relationships, dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, y'all are missing out big time. You mm-hmm. know, big time because it's like, it's uh you're not worrying about having to text someone like yo i gotta go on this day like when you meet new girls right you have to kind of like uh try really hard to make it happen like hey do i gotta go on this day do this do this that bullshit and then you're kind of like getting to know how she talks but but once you're in a relationship you can say fucked up jokes you can say racist the most racist shit you could think of dude i literally (laughs) say the most racist shit to these women dude uh and then they say it back you know what I'm saying? I turn women racist. What are we talking about now? Relationships. No, I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're racist ships. Yeah, I mean, dude, uh, I get I get um, people to be racist. No, no, you know what? I think I just realized why I well, hold on, don't dude, like... Let me, let me finish okay, okay, my okay. speech. I was going on this crazy speech. <laughs> and uh, so, dude, it's like... Um, <laughs> dude, they come, you know, they, they're they like... You get messages like, hey, I want to smash right now. And you're just like, oh, shit. That's pretty nice. All right, dude. And basically, it's like everything All right. f- flows so smooth, dude. And when they're there, it's like it's almost like you up like a part of you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This sucks your cock. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, so, dude, it's it's like uh, it's imagine, dude, you could create another steezy that was a woman and you could literally do the same things that you like. 
it's like dude it's it's so cool it's like you have a best friend that's just like you and you'll literally enjoy the same things so imagine a girl who was into filmmaking she's like hey see let's go film over here oh yeah this film this film premiere and after you did that shit y'all just fucked and it's like oh shit you know what i'm saying it's like hey do i make you pancakes so it's like having you to hang out with but a little bit different a little bit better I feel uh, like that would suck after like two weeks though, because you'll get, just get tired of it, and you're like, you would get tired of hanging out with yourself. <laughs> it's not yourself; it's somebody else, and no, they have I mean, different opinions on things. No, but that's what makes it uh, interesting. With a little, like they're kind of like you, but a little bit different. I just feel like I would be terrible in a relationship. Well, I mean, at least right now, with that attitude, maybe in five uh, years, yeah, all nothing's adjust. gonna change in five years. Like no, people change all the time. No, but like kind of i guess like maybe once you're closer to <laughs> but you're I, I assume you're probably going to be a very similar person just at the speed that my mind races at right now like just you know other people just can't keep up <laughs> like <laughs> can't keep up because uh what if they're the <laughs> what yeah he's probably not gonna finish it i don't know uh if she's a female version of you, then wouldn't her mind be the same speed as yours? No, because you never find the female version of yourself. Yeah, you say women are smart. always. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, you're, that's what you're no, saying women no, aren't smart. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. You're that's never gonna sexist. find the female version of yourself because some other people are always different. No, no, but I'm not. What I mean is like similar, like fifty percent similar to you. Then the other fifty percent. Well, is, that's different than what you were just saying. No, I'm saying like similar, like you'll kind of both like the same Dude, things. Obviously, from a I just think I just think I wouldn't. I, I don't like relationships because might be asexual. You're not asexual because you're out here fucking. Asexual is when you fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I'm just a psychopath. I'll no, give you I that think, so the uh just try it. Yeah. There's only there's Jump only in. one way to find it. Jump in what? To a relationship. Find a girl that you fuck like. No, dude. And just say, Hey, you know what? I want you to be my girlfriend. You you too, dude. Y'all should try it. Yeah, I'll try it. Let me go out. Let's let's go to the relationship Dude, store and fucking, buy. That's, <laughs> that, that's playing with a bear, bro. Playing with a bear. Fire. Well, don't fucking ask a bear, dude. Ask a human. You know what I'm saying? That was a dumb joke. It was a dumb joke, dude. I know. I mean, what, do want, what do you want me to do? Gorilla bear you can't be 100 percent all the time. Um, sometimes you miss. I mean, dude. I think it. Uh, it hurts. It yeah. It's uh. Well, how come you haven't been in a relationship? I know why. Why? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, really? no, you I, so I, confident. I, I know why. I know. I know why. Okay, you're making up something right now. No, no. This, this is why, dude. This He's is like wh- the reason why, and I'll tell you why, is because what I'm about to say <laughs> will reveal <laughs> why. <laughs> fucking, are you trying uh, to reach the, like, the fucking YouTube the minimum ad? essay word count? <laughs> yeah, you know this fucking YouTube ads like you want to be rich, right? So I'm gonna teach you the five skills to be rich. See in my program, and then they never tell you any fucking skills. Yeah, they did. They just fucking keep talking about how they're gonna tell you. Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. You watch a lot of those, huh? Sometimes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude. Uh, <laughs> well, before I tell you the reason why I think, I want to hear what you think, because then I'm gonna influence your your thoughts. Um. <laughs> so, why do you think you have been in a relationship? Okay, so there's, uh, I guess, two reasons. I think, like the the first reason, is because. Uh, kind of don't want to open up. Oh, like, no, it's scary. Exactly. No, it's scary because it, it, it's like this. It is scary. It's kind of like, oh, I'm about to jump off a bridge. Like, I know my personality, but it's very specific to my personality. I don't know if you have the same reasons, but like, if I do this in my head, I'm like, I'm doing this completely. Like, I'm not gonna half-ass the relationship. Mm. You know, I'm I'm literally gonna go all out, all in, all in. And uh, I think the second reason is because um, I really haven't met somebody who I can generally be myself with. So how do you hide yourself with this woman? Like, what do you do with us that you don't do with them? Um, hmm. That you're saying you can't be yourself around them. Like, can you say, I'm sh- yeah, I'm sure you can be racist, right? No, why? What the why fuck? Why is racism like something Keep that you have to Dude, everybody, I uh, know as racist. As, <laughs> okay, I better. Probably, I guess I gotta explain this. I'm saying racist jokes, fucked up joke because I said that. I realized you're probably gonna think like, wait, what? 
<laughs> okay. So by that, oh, I'm saying you're talking like, about dark, dark jokes, jokes racist jokes. There's yeah. nothing on that. Dude. Now that I'm sad, so you wait. So you can't be racist with your girl. <laughs> You can't, you can't be yourself <laughs> dude did i say that in the other thing yeah you did holy shit all right dude, that's I, why i was like what oh why did you fucking i did dude, i guess it's too late like people who watch they're probably gonna click off and never see that i meant racist jokes i'm pretty sure they understand it's a comedy podcast you'd be fine. but but what's the thing that you can't you never cut anything out of this podcast huh never never Unless CZ tells me to. <laughs> I mean, um, so what's the I don't. Thing? I mean, uh, like we're. I'm different uh, with you guys, and yeah, I mean, you're a little bit different, but. Uh, I think because uh, the the second reason why I can be myself is answered by the first reason, which is like if I'm not really vulnerable, if I know it open up, if I'm like very comfortable right now, because like I'm okay to be seen. If that makes sense, like I'm okay if you guys see me. But I'm like, oh, there's this other random person that I'm with. I was like, I don't want them to see all of me. You know, I kind of want... But what about after a while of dating, they're not random anymore? Well, that's when things start to get a little bit more familiar. But I always bail before that. I always bail. But why? Because it's just like, oh, we're about to get into that fucking zone. And I was like, I'm not sure this is a person that I want to like, you know... Hmm. it's uncertainty like i was like uh i don't know i don't know what the fucking answer is i'm saying that like but yeah. is that true it could not be yeah that that is that is uh hmm. huh i mean so we that's got confusing this guy whose brain runs smarter and faster so no girl can catch up that's why he doesn't date anybody i acknowledge in the camera and uh <laughs> yeah i mean i guess i'm just a cool guy that can go with the flow you know that might be it, because I'm a, like a gambler at heart, so I always go all in and see what happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So same with the girl. I'm like, you know what, dude? Let's make it my girlfriend and see what happens. Does it hurt you when you it ends? <sighs> <laughs> oh, your what? camera turned off. That's why I put the phone. Dude. What? Okay, anyways. I thought uh, you were a cool guy. No, Relax, I'm cool guy. I'm cool guy. I'm, cool, okay. cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm <laughs> cool. I'm uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, of course it hurts, uh, because what hurts is because as guys you know or from what i've seen is we don't go straight into fucking other girls you know we just kind of like cry for a little bit you know what i'm saying like well never mind like girls are the same basically it does hurt uh because you're just thinking dude this bitch is getting pounded right now dude <laughs> oh my god and all yeah, the things yeah. that i taught her she's using another guy's fuck why did i teach her that move dude holy shit and you just think about her getting pounded and not being <laughs> not being with you and I mean, yeah, that hurts. But then uh, after a while, maybe like two weeks, still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but after a month, after a month, it keeps fucking hurting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think after a month, you, especially if you have like friends around you. Yeah. Or you do stuff. Yeah. It, it goes quickly. Quickly. But if you're not doing anything, dude, and she oh, was yeah, the only thing in your you life. Up. Yeah. That's when you see those guys, my life is over. To me, it's like, the pussy is over. Was that that you just impersonated? You know what that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it hurts you, but uh, it motivates you because you know what, like, fuck that yeah, bitch. No, I'm gonna work hard. Dude, I say that I'm gonna all get the time. money. Then she's gonna want me, and then I'm gonna probably take her back. Uh, yeah. Heartbreaks are the biggest motivation. It's like the biggest thing that can fuel somebody. Yeah. That's how Facebook got started. He he made Facebook the night that his girlfriend broke up with him. Damn. According to the movie. But I'm pretty sure that's what actually happened as well. A um, whole bunch of shit. I can't name things right now, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's sad because like, uh, like thinking about like things not being permanent is a super fucking sad thought. It's mm -hmm. like one of the most depressing things you can think of. Yeah. But it's such a, I mean, it's a part of life. Like you cannot escape it. No, but that's what makes it fun, dude. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's the fun part of life. Because I think like, um sometimes like i'll have fucked up dreams of like family members dying and shit like that and i wake up and i'm like oh fuck and then i start thinking oh what what is it going to be like if i get a phone call like that and then it's like this really sad moment and then i'm like when i'm thinking that i'm like dude shut the fuck up you have them here now so right. be with them now like don't think about like oh what's gonna happen when it ends it's like no be here now be here now you're here with them like don't fucking try to escape like this feeling of sadness or anything and um 
yeah, I mean, I've gone out with girls and I get along with them really well. And then things, uh, you know, we started part ways. And I, I was like, dude, this is sad. I was actually attached. You know, I was, I was a little well, bit attached. Part ways because of you or because of them? Uh, I would say I'm the one that fucks it up most of the time in the sense of we're like. But they make the choice. You never make the choice of. Because you subliminally, you know, push them that way. But I'm saying like they say, hey, dude, let's not hang out anymore. They stop messaging or, back. Well, most of the time they either give them an ultimatum or like, hey, what the fuck's going on? Right. And I was just like, I'm pulling the, pl- I'm basically getting ready to like, you know, slaughter the cattle or whatever. And, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, there's Don't no fu- way, there's no way to avoid it whenever you're spending so much time with somebody and like, slaughter you know, the cattle. Dude, I don't know what the fuck this is. I mean, I speaking. was just trying to, you know, be very uh, cinematic with my explanation. But yeah, the whole point is, uh, I think it's lame that I do that. I don't think it's cool. Like this future shit. Yeah, man, if fucking you know, do this. I think it's fucking lame when people do that. It's like, dude, you're limiting your experience so much. Like, what if, you know, you could delve into something fully and having, actually get everything. I mean, having said that, a person could argue that we're lame for not sucking cock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why do you why, no no, why do you I, no i'm saying no because <laughs> no, like, no, that saying, no. was in a different universe <laughs> no, no, no. than the conversation say, we were no, having as he was saying that dude i imagine all hundred was like this guy who pretends to be straight and he tries to convince his friends like hey <laughs> hey what we're if, all gay <laughs> what if we just did this <laughs> no no I'm saying you that. can <laughs> argue that somebody would say that we're lame for not sucking cock, <laughs> right? Am I right? <laughs> hey, what if we all just fucked right now? Huh? <laughs> Wouldn't what that if, be quirky? We just... Wouldn't that be weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you hey, say, dude, what if I just sucked your dick as a joke? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. That would huh? be so funny. Uh, stand up. Stand up. Uh, <laughs> so, dude, I'm saying no, because as a joke, obviously, it was <laughs> a joke, dude, because you said we limit ourselves to his experiences. So, yeah. Uh, it's like someone would say, hey, dude, well, don't limit yourself to not sucking cock. You know? <laughs> 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 All right, I, knew, I think this is a good time to, you know. Uh, it's easy over here. We're killing the vibes. Right? Yeah. Like, dude, let it flow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, let it flow. Okay, before we end this, I do want to talk about the movie Old a little bit just because it, it did affect me a well, lot. Well, I haven't seen the movie yet. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Well, I don't even want to hear, it. like, you know, I don't want to hear anything. Well, dude, when are you going to watch it so I can talk about it? Because uh, I know it's easy. You're probably going to watch it after a month. And definitely do not watch the trailer. Because I saw back and I watched the trailer. I was like, dude, whoever saw the trailer fucked up the whole I movie I saw it, for but them. I didn't pay attention. I'm glad I didn't. I so can't I even really remember know. the trailer. Yeah, oh, okay, dude. We saw, it, we saw it a long time ago. Bro, yeah. dude, that trailer, uh, I'm glad I didn't see it. I'm not going to not watch any trailers when I go see movies or know anything about a movie. I'm just going to go watch them. Because it would have ruined everything. You know, trailers nowadays tell you the whole story. It would have ruined everything. sucks. All right, I guess we can't talk about it. I mean, that's uh, fine. Um, all right, yeah. dude. Uh, all right, thank you for listening to the episode of the Pull Out Podcast. Um, by the way, I'm going to New York for like three weeks. Going to be filming a bunch of videos out there. We'll try to film a podcast while I'm out there, like not, Skype. We're not going to do it. We'll yeah. try. We'll, we'll try. Because yeah, we might as well try. Try means we're like probably Like the Cody Co. way. You know, Cody Co. You know way. I used to do it? Yeah. yeah. We'll at least try. Um, Although it would be cool I'll if we had a, a few, a few uh, Zoom... Yeah, it might be yeah, a yeah. cool, 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 cool little addition. dynamic. Um, and uh, I could try to get guests on. Oh, that like, would be fun. You know, yeah, if you just gonna be a lot of people in New York. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we might not post for three weeks. Um, but of course, we're still doing the podcast. Um, we enjoy this whole podcast community. Um, uh, we appreciate you guys listening. Um, but we're also gonna use this time to, uh, right? I guess. Yeah, set up a new podcast studio and uh develop the merch have the merch ready so if we do come back in three weeks we'll drop merch pull up podcast merch and uh have a new studio and um go back to three times a week we might even be signed to a podcast studio yeah we might even be signed to a label oh, you know what i'm saying that would be i mean i'm not even kidding i went back to look at the numbers just out of curiosity i guess uh, this is not really no, you can say it. okay but like on youtube uh there's like every single one of our videos is minimum getting 10k mm-hmm. uh which is really fucking solid. I'm like, okay. And then the audio, oh my God, how much was it per day? But basically where if we, uh, I think we're like at the 100K unique monthly downloads. And at this pace, we're at 125. 
if we get to like the 200 range, that's where things start sort of. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, if we post three times a week, yeah, we would have gotten there easy. Yeah. Basically, uh, at that point, it's like, oh, um, we're, it's weird to say, but we're like legit, <laughs> kind of, you know, where we can actually reach out to these studios and be like, hey, Too legit. Um, you know, actually build us a studio. We'll have like mixers and, you know, mm-hmm. producers and shit like that. Like, yeah. And then we can do bits, dude. Literally do a whole bunch of random shit to make the, the show so much better. And that's the exciting part. Um, so, yeah. Uh, something to look forward to as far as the audience goes. Because that will definitely up the... the and content. you got to help us get there. So, rate us on iTunes. Play us on Spotify. Follow us on Instagram. Um, Share with a friend. Yeah. Yeah, dude. If you have the same sense of humor, obviously your friends do as well. Like, yeah, Tell them about this. What if they don't have friends? What do they do? Well, you should commit suicide. Can we put that? <laughs> yeah, 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 we can put it's a joke. that. He was joking. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a joke. It's a little joke. <laughs> it's, a little, uh, it's a little joke. It's a joke, not a dick. Don't take it up the ass so hard. Oh! Don't get confused. The dick is a dick. The joke is a joke. Uh, how would you know that you've gotten confused before? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, Dude, anyways, I don't know if you got that. Um, cool. Thank peace. you for listening. And right. uh, peace. Peace.